preached in 1964. But speaking here in 1933 of the Pope taking his place out of, or coming out rather of Rome and making a visit to the, the Holy Land, he'll also come here. And the strange thing is, a few nights before he left Rome for the first time it ever was in history, the moon came down and went in totally eclipsed. Just that, what was it? Shadowing off the reflected light of the sun. Exactly as the prophet William Henry Brown prophesied. The Pope has visited America for the first time in that historic visit. And it coincided also, or could it be coincidence that it was the same period also, the 28th of September 2015, just within the same period of the visit of the Pope to America, that we have the much spoken about phenomenon of the red moon, or some call it the blood moon, and with its attendant historical manifestations and what takes place when such occurs. As people and all the analysts all around the world have been putting across for the whole world to hear. Remember also that the Pope of Rome is also known as the man of peace. The man of peace, the man of peace. In quote, the man of peace. Could it be the reason why? He has already started making peace all around the world. He's been able to intervene for about 50 years. America has not had diplomatic relationship with Cuba, her next door neighbor. And that enmity broke when the Pope of Rome intervened. Maybe the next place he will go will be the Arab world. The man of peace. Remember, anywhere he steps in, people listen to him. Ha! Huh. While the whole world is looking at all these events taking place in the world, the bride is watching the fulfillment of scripture. Could this be pointing to the soon coming of the Lord? Remember also, the bride is watching for what is happening in America. As prophesied by the same man, William Adam Graham, among the things that will take place before the coming of the Lord, in that much talked about seven visions that he saw and told us, that America will have a woman that will rule her, and that woman will be a brutal and ruthless woman. I said, I've seen a woman stand in the United States like a great queen or something, and she was beautiful to look at, but wicked in her heart. And she made the nation step for her step. Could that be what we see now for the first time? Women are now struggling in the primaries to be presidential candidates and probably the president of the strongest nation in the world, the United States of America. We are watching. Shalom to the bride.